A very positive evening this evening. Um, the Great British Dinner brought together a whole load of new people uh, with lots of opinions and my take out was, was twofold really. One, optimism. There was a lot of um, debate, a lot of positives and negatives about where our society is going but I think that really you, you can get little ideas that, that can be ripples and you can build them up to waves of, of hope and action that, that we can eventually do. So my hope is that our report will be able to bring these ripples together so that we can really make a big wave uh, of impact with, with all these people that came tonight and the other meals that really didn't need to and offered their opinions and there's a lot of sense there, a lot of influential people that we, we can take heart from. Um, and the second thing is sort of the creativity of solutions to some of our intractable problems that are out there. I think there's, there's, there's loads in there that we can really dissect and, and, and come up with some really creative ideas that, that, uh, that, that will be listened to and, and maybe can make a difference. And you know, if we didn't meet tonight, those ideas wouldn't. I think ultimately there are three or four parts of society that can affect change. There are people on their own, people movements, revolutions and that sort of thing which can happen, which Jamie has been a fantastic example of what can be done. There's the media and they can highly influence this business and responsible business and, and responsive to consumers uh, business and as we move forward business is more democratized and we have to be answerable to our consumers um, and there's influence that they can put onto us um, is another area and then there's government and government's job is to reflect the opinions of the rest of us and we can think traditionally with them and this uncoordinated food policy that they have between the different ministries and it, it doesn't really work or we can come with a coordinated policy and ask them to think about it or we can think of left field ideas like um, taking away from from the House of Commons to the House of Lords long-term things that like food and uh, and the obesity problem a generational problem and ask the House of Lords to look at it not the House of Commons who need to be elected every really? year I think we need to be bold in this report I think there's loads of ideas from the three meals that we've had that we can either sort of politely present to the government and, and, and to the media and, and say these are some thoughts or we can forcefully present as they were passionately presented to us and, and see if we can really create a little bit of a movement, see if we can make an opinion within government and, and the media and business and society and try and make a difference. It's an incredibly important issue in our society that our children could really die before we do and their awareness of food, their interaction, their health, their diet, their sort of comfort with food is a really really important um, part of our society and, and Things like tonight can only help to, to, to make sure that the next generation has a better relationship with food than I we wouldn't, but most importantly the 30 or 40 people that we've invited to our meals wouldn't have either. And they're influential people. And they're, you know, we could have, we could have doubled the number of people that came to our, our breakfast, lunch and tea and dinner. And we are a society where the influence of these sorts of people can make a difference and we can I really believe that we can start a little bit of a, a ripple that become a wave that we can start to make some differences.